Welcome home, Shane. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to create custom Siri messages or announcements just like that for your smart home automations. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit with new videos released every Sunday right here. So be sure to subscribe because we're doing a lot of cool stuff with HomeKit here every week. Today's video is sponsored by Trend Micro. Their home network security station lets you manage all of your devices, including your smart home devices from anywhere and protect all of those devices from viruses, hackers, and vulnerabilities. It also gives you access to strong parental controls and a ton of other awesome features. I've been using this thing in my smart home setup for over a year now and it has really come in handy for me. I'll put a link for more information as well as a discount code down below. Check it out and thanks to Trend Michael for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I recently asked you guys over on Instagram, you know, what are some home kit automations or shortcuts that you would like to see? And a number of you wanted Siri to be able to play some sort of custom message or announcement as a part of your home kit automations. So that's what we're doing today. The problem is when we're creating a home automation and then we convert to a shortcut, like I've shown you before in past videos, we have far less options available to us than, you know, the regular personal automations or personal shortcuts. So with that said, we can have Siri give out these special announcements as a part of our home automations. It's just gonna take a few extra steps to get there. But stick with me, it's not too hard. If this is something you really wanna accomplish, uh, you will need a couple of things. You'll need a Mac computer and an Apple Music subscription. Well, and of course, you'll probably want a HomePod to be able to play the announcement, but that's it really. Now, essentially, we're gonna make a recording of Siri saying something on our phone and then save it to our music library so we can then access it in our automations for the HomePod. So to do that, I'm actually gonna use shortcuts, and this is how I would do it. There may be some other ways, uh, but since we can't use the speak action in a regular uh, home automation, we're gonna have to get a recording. So let's do that. I'm gonna look for the speak action, that right there. And here we're just gonna type in our message. So I'm gonna say, welcome home. All right, let's just, and now we can play it and we can see how it sounds. Welcome home, Shane. Okay, that sounds weird. Let's just remove that comma. Let's try that. Welcome home, Shane. All right, that sounds pretty good. So you can add more stuff, have this message say whatever you want. Um, that's all I need. And now what I'm gonna do is do a screen recording of this. Welcome home, Shane. There you go, so that's it. I'm just gonna do a screen recording of this and I can save that uh, audio to play back on my HomePod. So to do that, the easiest way is to swipe down and uh, you want to use the uh, screen recording right here. This is how I would do it. Now if you don't see this, you can go into your settings, look for, look for control center, and down here, you're gonna look for that screen recording right there. Just make sure that is toggled on and a part of your control center. Go back into my shortcut. Now I will just start the screen recording. Let's just tap that, three, two, one. It's now recording, I'm gonna play this. Welcome home, Shane. There we go. Now I'm gonna stop this. Save to our photos, let's open it up. Welcome home, Shane. Now this is saved as a video, but we're gonna strip the audio out and just save that audio in our iTunes library. So to do this, next thing we need to do is just share this to our Mac. Now I'm gonna tap the share icon. I'm gonna look for my Mac, which is actually right here. Um, or you can do it that way. It is sent, and now it's on my Mac. Now let's go over to the Mac. All right, so now I'm over here on my Mac, and I'm gonna go to my downloads, and there's that file that we just sent over to our Mac. Uh, so now I'm gonna open this, and again, I am on a Mac, so I'm gonna open this up. It'll default to QuickTime, but that's what I want. Here we go. Uh, so this is our file, and I'm actually gonna hit File, Export As, Audio Only. 
I'm just going to save this on my desktop. And I'm going to say, Welcome home, Shane. There we go. And there is that file. Uh, this is just the audio. Now I can double click this to open it up in my Apple Music. Go into Recently Added, and you can see Welcome Home Shane. And there's actually a little bit of pause before this. Of course, we could edit that out, but I actually like a little bit of pause in case you're coming in the front door or something for this type of um, automation. You know, this way it'll give you a little bit of time to get in the front door before you hear that message play on the HomePod. All right, so now uh, what you're gonna wanna do is actually, I don't know if you can see this, but we're gonna go to File, in your music and you're gonna hit uh, library and you wanna choose update cloud library. And you can see here it's updating our cloud library and you tap on that. All right, now everything should be good to go. All right, now we can jump back to the iPhone. That's all we need the Mac for. We should be able to open up our music and let's tap on our library and we'll see under recently added there we go we've got our welcome home audio welcome home Shane there you go like I said there's a little bit of pause there which is actually gonna work out good for this type of automation okay so let's open up the home app and we're just going to create this automation it's pretty basic from this point out um, let's tap on automation I'm going to choose new automation and I'm going to do I'm going to do one of my front door unlocks you can do a sensor if you have a front door sensor or something like that um, but I'm going to do an accessories controlled let's just choose my front door lock and so when this unlocks and you can of course do any time of day only when certain people are home I can choose um, maybe when I am home that way if somebody else unlocks the door the wife or something during this time it won't work it'll only do this if I am home uh, and let's do the specific time let's do uh, specific times uh, let's just say I get home you know maybe between I don't know 4 30 and 5 30 in the afternoon maybe let's just go with that 4 30 p.m. to 5 5 30 p.m. done when the door is unlocked between 4 30 and 5 30 that's gonna happen okay so it's just an example but that's how you would set something like this up we'll choose next now we're gonna look for our home pod you can of course choose any home pod many multiple home pods um, we'll go with our, o, our OG HomePod, uh, rest in peace as they have recently been discontinued. Uh, but let's go with this and uh, we need to tap our audio. We're going to choose play audio. Now we need to choose choose audio. And we're going to go to our library and now you're going to see our recently added files. There is our recent recording of Siri. Choose that choose it there now it's gonna play you can use current volume or we can set a custom volume let's go ahead and crank that up because we're gonna to want to hear that when we walk through the door okay everything looks good there it's gonna play that audio and we're done now that's all you need to do if you just want to play the audio if you want to take this a step further let's say you want to play that audio and then start playing some music Let's go ahead and do that. Let's open up that automation again. Where is that? There we go. When the outside front door unlocks, let's select our scenes and accessories. And instead of choosing that, we're going to go all the way down. We're going to convert this to a shortcut. Okay. So it's going to set the kitchen home pod. It's carried that over from before. But if not, you would go in here. You would choose your audio just as we did. But this is all set. Okay. So this is good to go. Okay, now what we're going to do, I'm going to choose, let's do a wait action just to give it a little bit of time. Sometimes I like to do this. Let's wait, I don't know, three seconds. And then I'm going to add the HomePod again. So we're going to actually wait a few seconds. And then we're going to start playing music on this HomePod. 
Let's go to play audio, choose audio. Actually, let's go to listen now. I don't know, how about Shane Watley's radio station? Let's go with that. All right, tap back. It's gonna play that audio and we're done. So now it's gonna play that first re Siri recording message that we created. It's gonna wait three seconds and then it's gonna start playing our music that we determined here when we come home between 4.30 and 5.30 in the afternoon. Uh, but that's it, that's all you have to do. Outside front door unlocks. Only when I am home and only from 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. And it's going to run our shortcut. Choose done. Boom, and that's it. Now, I'll let you get creative with this, but you can really utilize something like this um, in all kinds of ways. You can have Siri give an intruder alert if your HomeKit alarm is triggered. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Maybe give your kids a custom message, you know, to do their homework when they get home. Or, you know, even better possibly, you could record your own voice and save that to play when they get home. Now, I will go ahead and say the one downside is probably that uh, this automation does look at this as if it's playing music. So um, if you don't follow it up with playing some sort of music or changing the music, it will Welcome be the home, last Shane. thing playing on your home pods. So, you know, that might be a little annoying, but something I did want to point out, you know, just so you're aware of that. You can have something like this triggered by any kind of home kit, door, window sensor, you know, uh, smart lock, any of your home kit accessories can trigger this. The back window has been opened. So get creative and have some fun with this. And if you want to see some more ways to create cool automations for the HomePod and HomeKit, check out these videos right here on screen. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for new HomeKit videos published every Sunday. Hit that join button below for more info on becoming a channel member. You'll get access to our members only HomeKit community over on Discords and other perks like early access to new videos each week. Thank you so much for joining me and until next time, We'll see y'all later.